Hey, 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 YouTube. How's it going? I'm already here, uh, back at you guys again with another video. Um, video? Uh, <laughs> back at you guys again with another video. Thank you so much for your response on the SJ30 video. That was super fun to record. It was kind of like a little bit of a lightning in a bottle moment because like you all know, we're in this whole quarantine virus situation and it's a lot of fun to just be stuck inside all day and that video is a nice little way to be able to kind of get out and occupy myself with something and I'm gonna keep going with this acronym series and I just wanted to thank you guys for the response on the first video, it was kind, the comments I got were sick and uh, everything else in between was cool as well. So thank you guys so much for the response. Um, today's video is gonna be a little bit shorter because I don't have to do a whole like background history on acronym. I can just kind of get straight into the garment. Instead of a jacket like we were talking about in the last video, this time we're gonna be talking about a pair of pants and these are the P27H DSs by acronym. O honestly, maybe like my favorite pair of pants that I own. And on top of that, it's an incredibly unique pair of pants in the entire acronym pant lineup. I think that these would be a cool pair of pants to go over and I'm excited to show you guys. Instead of the, like the first video where I just showed the quirks and the details and did a brand history, I'm also gonna be showing you guys how I style these. I hope you guys get some inspiration from it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. And I think without further ado, let's get right into the garment itself. All the details of the quirks. Uh, I think the first thing that's worth talking about is actually the description for these pants because it can kind of lend us a lot of information about it. Acronym P27HDS, second lowest of the low. P27 is the second iteration of our new edge-to-edge -edge fit block. Both slightly shorter in leg and drop than the P25, the unique geometry of this full bleed pattern still provides zero resistance mobility. Deep pockets, zippered back pockets, and a new beltless fully adjustable waistband complete the feature set. Beltless waistband cinches down from oversize. So pretty straightforward, pretty detail oriented. And I think that that kind of gives us a good little uh, overview of the pants. I think the things that are actually worth noting within this description is the fact that this is an edge to edge fit block pair of pants. We'll get into that. And also the fact that these are both slightly shorter in leg and drop than the P25. So if I had a way to describe these pairs of pants just like from the way that I like view them. They're kind of like a pair of harem pants or a pair of judo pants that have a slightly short kind of crop to them. They don't go all the way down to the leg and they have a very obvious and large drop crotch uh, nature to them. The drop crotch is something that acronym dabbles in, but it's definitely not something that's very typical to their pant lineup. Right now, they have come out with uh, P35 as of this season, and that is their 35th pair of pants, and this is the 27th pair of pants right here. Of all the 35 pairs of pants that they have created, um, or the 35 unique models that they like to say that they've created, there's probably about three that have the extreme drop crotch nature. The first one, it says right here in this description, is the pair uh, that I actually really love is the P25s. And those have an even lower drop crotch than this and an even longer inseam. And then I think the most popular of all the like the drop crotch pants that acronym has is the P30s, which are like a cargo variant of this. And they don't necessarily have um, as low of a drop crotch either. Seeing a pair of really low drop crotch uh, acronym pants is kind of unique. And honestly, I think with the materiality that they decide to imbue into the pants themselves, as well as the other kind of implicit acronym functionalities that uh, come with a pair of acronym anything for that matter, I really am enticed by these pants and I was really interested in them because I think this is a really great example of a blend between avant-garde nature and functionality with the garment itself and that's why um, this is probably one of my favorite pairs of acronym pants. So yeah, yeah. So like I was kind of dabbling in earlier, the real reason that these pants kind of exist is because Arilson has imbued a lot of his garments with a like martial art nature to them. Uh, a lot of the inspiration for acronym garments comes from this ability of like free motion and free range of motion. And if you watched any of their acronym jutsu videos, a majority of them have some type of like karate or like martial art in them. Arilson himself is really into karate, so you can't go a single acronym jutsu video without seeing some type of karate in them. And I mean, acronym jutsu in itself is obviously like a little bit of a play on like the Japanese term for like jutsu, you know, Naruto, uh, like that type of thing. If you've seen some of their editorial shots, you will see that they usually model these pants with somebody doing karate or 
doing some type of martial art thing. And I think that that's a really kind of cool crossover in the uh, clothing industry. I know that a lot of other companies tend to do a big drop crotch pair of pants. Um, I know Yoji Yamamoto is probably one of the most like prevalent for that. Uh, Comme des Garcons dabbles in a lot of drop crotch stuff as well. Uh, Rick Owens too. A lot of people dabble with the drop crotch and I love the way the acronym does this unique take on uh, a drop crotch pant. And, uh, and it's just another reason that it kind of like lures me into owning a pair of pants like this. These are really unique because Acronym has done this entire pair of pants with the DS material, which is uh, dry skin. Uh, dry skin is a material that is made by the Scholler company. It's formerly known as like Scholler dry skin. You'll probably see it if you look up a pair of pants that are made of dry skin. It's Scholler dry skin. Scholler dry skin is, I mean like bar none, it's probably like one of my favorite like pant materials. And I keep throwing around the word favorite, but I have to be completely honest. This is probably one of my like favorite pant materials out there. Shoulder dry skin is a proprietary polyester material that has a water beading uh, quality to it. So water wicks off of the pairs of pants, but it also has this really unique softness and lovely texture to it that doesn't sacrifice any comfort or quality for the waterproof nature of it. I'm gonna show some B-roll right here of me actually pouring some water onto the pants, but you can see how quickly the water hits the pants, beads off, and then goes to the ground. And while it does leave a little bit of a mark as to where the water actually was on the pants, it still dries off super quickly. By the time that I actually get over to my other leg and then pour water onto that leg, the pants have already almost dried. And that's just testament to how nice the dry skin material is. Dry skin really is like a formerly like a hiking pant material. And to see it be used in this kind of avant-garde cut and silhouette really makes these pants like stand out as a like unique pair of pants across the board. So the website mentions that this is like an edge to edge fit block pair of pants and that it's got like a little bit of a crop and a really low drop crotch. And uh, yeah, it honestly makes these really like unique to style, but it also makes them really like kind of hard to figure out in terms of like, how, like what size am I? How am I going to wear these? The best way that I can describe it is that if I can give you some reference, I usually am like a 30 waist kind of guy. I'm like, I'm usually like a 30 inch waist kind of dude. Uh, it's usually like a size one or two in Japanese stuff and uh, like maybe like a like about like a 48 or a 46 in European sizing. I got these in a size medium, which is typically their size 32. And these have, if I had to give it like a kind of like length description, if I was like a 30 inch waist, it feels like I'm wearing like a pair of like 28 inch inseam pair of pants. I, I use inseam for everything because that's usually like the one big deciding factor on what exactly I'm wearing and how it's gonna look on me. But because of the drop crotch on these, it's really hard to be able to identify what the overall size is because the crotch comes down so low. But lengthwise, it feels like a 28 inch inseam pair of pants. And uh, I like being able to style them in that way because it's, uh, it's a decent enough crop to really insinuate that it's like a cropped pair of pants, but it's not so cropped that it's like a pair of capris or something similar. If I went with a size smaller and extra small, like a lot of people my size do for uh, acronym pants, I don't think I would have liked the silhouette as much, but funny enough, a size medium, which is about a size above what I should be doing, actually works really, really great from these pair of pants. And because of the belting system, I'm able to wear them just the way I want to. Transitioning from that, I'm gonna get into the details of the pants, which aren't as rich necessarily as a jacket because the jacket has all the proprietary stuff that an acronym jacket would have. But honestly, pants from acronym, bar none, some of the best stuff you can get. So we'll talk about the details regardless and I'll show you guys why these are so awesome. If we look up at the top of the pants, you can see that it's got an embedded belt, which is not necessarily something that's unique to acronym in itself, but the way that they've done it is definitely unique. The way that it works is that it's got two belt buckles, it's got two belt buckles that sit either on either side of the pelvis. And the way that it works is that you can grab either draw cord and you can pull it down from oversize until it eventually gets to the exact waist size that you want. It's a really unique feature and it's something that actually makes the pants like super fun to put on, but also really nice in terms of being able to get them to the exact size you want. Something that a lot of people might worry about is like, oh, but like if you pull them down to that size, won't it come loose? And funny enough, the way that the loops work on the top, it's so tight. Like the, like the loops up there are so tight that it stays sturdy like with practically however you want it. 
At the very same time though, if you're cinching down these pants, you definitely have to give them a bit of force to be able to get the belt all the way down to the size that you want specifically. For me, like I mentioned, I'm a size small. So these are a bit big on me and they have a lot of material. So I'm kind of like, squeezing up all the material when I cinch them down from oversize and it might make it a little bit more difficult to get it to the perfect size for me. But the overall cinching fastening uh, process gets relatively easy the more that you use it and the more that you break it in. And it's something that I've actually come to fall in love with. On top of that, once you have them fully down to your specific waist size, you will also have the tassels hanging down as a kind of element of movement when you're walking around in the pants. It's something that a lot of people go after. A lot of uh, Cobra belt buckles have this dangling fashion now because people like that look. And acronym can be considered a progenitor of this whole draw cord style and the tassel movement like that because it's, it's a nice little visual aesthetic thing going on and I, uh, I like it a lot. Moving down from that, we've got this diagonal slit that's on this side of the leg. And that's actually, as a matter of fact, a cell phone pocket. It can be used for other stuff, obviously, but it is, in my eyes, the perfect cell phone pocket. I have an iPhone 10. It works pretty much perfectly. It's really hard to get super in depth with the pocket because it's honestly like super simple and just really easy to use. You just, while you're standing up, slip it into the pocket and you're good to go. It's really nice. It's tailored exactly for a phone. So your phone will fit perfectly in it. And the thing that's actually unique about this pair of pants is that as you can see, it's kind of curving diagonal inward instead of being outward, which seems kind of like weird when you think about it. But when you actually have the pair of pants on, and as I will show in the B-roll, having it be diagonally cut like this, once it's actually up on the leg, the diagonal cut kind of runs horizontal, like at a more of like a 180 degree line. So you're able to slip the phone in a lot easier, even though it looks a little bit weird when it's hung up like on a rack like that. A lot of other pants that Akron makes has that diagonal foam pocket at a slightly different angle, but it's mainly made like that so that once the pants are on, you will have a very easy way of being able to get it in there. And that can vary from pant to pant. So on this one, it's angled in so hard on that side because when you actually get them on, it runs more 180. So it's a cool little design feature. If we look over at the left and right sides of the pants, you have some typical hand pockets, but that being said, these are not typical hand pockets. Something that Acronym likes to boast about on their website for these pants is that they are incorporating deep pockets A uh, into the pants. And what that essentially means is that these are very deep pockets. While they are in fact very deep and I can fit a wide variety of stuff into these pants pockets, they're also unique in that it has one pocket that runs to the front part of the leg, but then it also has, I guess what you could consider like a little drop pocket that runs to the sides of the thighs. So if you have change or if you have something that's a little bit smaller in the front part of the pocket, if you sit down, it falls to the back pocket and separates stuff out accordingly. The thing that's really cool about that is that there's been multiple times where I've put a pair of sunglasses into my pocket along with change or a key without me thinking about it. And the change in the key will fall to that back pocket and separate itself, whereas my larger items will still stick around in the front part of the pocket. It makes the pockets really like simple and easy to use uh, without thinking about it that much, but you have this really kind of interesting diversion in the pocket detail itself. As you can see in the middle of the pants, we've got this one big stitch that runs up from the very base crotch all the way to the very top. And you've got a zip fly, a massive zip fly at that because these pants are in fact massive. And then if we look at the back of the pants, we've got two zippered pockets. These are a relatively typical size back pocket, but the fact that they have the zipper detailing as well as pretty unique. I always use my right pocket, so I keep my left pocket zipped up, but my right pocket unzipped. Uh, you can use this however you like. It's just nice to have that little extra zipper functionality. So that's pretty much everything in terms of the details from the outside, but I think that it's honestly really worth mentioning how these look inside out to really get into the guts of the pants and see how those deep pockets work and how the overall pocket system works from the inside. If we look, the pants pocket detailing is all interconnected. The pockets on the front are connected to the pockets on the back, all by this pocket stitch detailing that acronym has decided to input into the like, pants. As you can see on the right side of the pants, there's this extra little flap of material, which is where the 
foam pocket detailing is. And on the back of the foam pocket, you can see that it's got the Schuller dry skin tag to, you know, show that it's this proprietary material, as well as the actual acronym tag, which shows that it is made in Europe at their multiple factories. And the fact that this is actually something that is a machine washable material. I've washed these about, I'm gonna say like five or six times. I usually let them go for a long while before I like wash them like other pairs of pants do. I like to, you know, kind of take care of them in a way. It's really nice to be able to throw these into the washing machine at delicate settings and have them come out fresh, clean, and nice and know that they're not gonna be, you know, ruined because this material is so hardy and sturdy and it's made for hiking materials and hikers and should be like a well-worn pair of pants, but it still has all this unique functionality to it. And I think that that's something that's really nice about this pants, this pants. Over on the left thigh, we can see that it's got a little acronym tag, which is typical to a lot of acronym garments with the medium hole punched out as per their trademark. And that's pretty much it for the P27 HDSs. I think that uh, another unique kind of thing that I should point out is that these are the P27 HDSs. And the other pair of pants that are actually still available on the acronym website right now is the P27 DSs. They are missing the H. So that's it for the details on these P27s. Uh, like I mentioned, it was going to be a little bit of a less detail rich video compared to the last one, but I still wanted to show you guys how I styled them and how exactly I would wear them in the multitude of situations that there are. So, so without further ado, let me show you how I would incorporate these pants into some outfits for multiple scenarios. So the first outfit that I'm going to show you guys is like a beach slash like summer outfit. I've got a hat on top, which is from Maharishi. It's a bucket hat. I've got a pair of Margiela Mikita sunglasses, like the little silver reflective ones. I've got a Uniqlo Arism tank. I've got the pants, obviously. And then I've got a pair of Sweet Coke sandals. And last but not least, I've also got a L23A1. So these pants are a autumn winter pair of pants. But that being said, this material is not only something that works really well for the autumn winter settings, but it's something that's so breathable and so nice that it works well for spring and summer settings as well. I honestly prefer to wear them in the spring and summer because of how light and breathable they like to be. But at the same time, when it's an autumn winter setting, I can very easily throw on a pair of long socks and then have them feel a little bit nicer accordingly. So the next outfit that I wanted to show you guys is a little bit more of like a rain outfit, something that's a little bit more kind of in the acronym lane of going about things, rainproof, waterproof, all that stuff. I've got a black beanie on top that was a gift. I've got a Descent All-Terrain shell jacket. I've got the acronym 3A1 L2, like I showed you in the last fit. I've got a pair of pants that we are very familiar with now. And then I've got the downtown acronym Air Force Ones or the acronym downtown Air Force Ones. Uh, this entire fit is way more covered as you might see. And the thing that I wanted to detail about this fit in particular is the fact that these pants still look really good with a high top pair of shoes. I usually like to style these pants with a pair of like leather boots these high top sneakers like I'm showing you, or mids. They still look really good with that wide multitude of stuff. You're not confined to just a low top pair of shoes or sandals. And I think that that's really nice. The all-terrain shell jack is a little bit on the shorter side. It's got a, a double zip and it has a lot of functionalities. I might get into a video about those. And the 3A1 is laminated, waterproof, like I like to mention, as well as the pants being a waterproof nature and the shoes are semi-waterproof, but they're neoprene, so they can get a little bit of water in there, but they work nonetheless for a lot of rainier, slushier conditions. For the last outfit, I've got a more casual or urban styling to the overall silhouette, and this is kind of how I would wear these pants in a majority of the situations that I find myself in. Uh, on top, I've got a black beanie like I showed off in my last fit. I've got the Acne Studios Scientist glasses, which have that really round, unique, quirky kind of look to them. I've got a Penfield bomber jacket, Penfield being an American heritage brand. I've got the pants, and then I've got the acronym Vapor Maxes. I really like this fit overall. The thing that I like about it the most is the fact that like the other outfits, it is pretty much all black all the way down, but because the other elements of the outfit, the jacket, the beanie, the sunglasses, all kind of have this more like pulled back nature to them, the pants are really allowed to stand out on their own because of their really unique silhouette. 
On top of that, it shows off another good way of styling these pants, which is with a higher top pair of socks and then a pair of shoes so that you're still getting that cropped effect, but you're not showing bare leg. I really like that. And the thing that I also like is that the shoes are kind of interchangeable here. I'm wearing a really profile pair of shoes right here, and I think that that's actually a really good way of styling them. But the Vapor Maxes can be interchangeable for something that I like to wear, which is my uh, BBS uh, hiking shoes, the uh, Speed Cross 3s. You could wear these with a pair of Flyknit racers. You could wear these with other more profile looking shoes, and you kind of get that same sort of aggressive futuristic sort of look to them, but it also has a unique take because the way that these pants are silhouetted, it's definitely not your like your everyday looking fit. So that's it. That's, <laughs> that's all the details, that's all the fits. I think I'm coming up on the end of the video here, but I just wanted to thank you guys again for watching. Um, I'm having a really fun time recording these while I'm trapped in my own house, and it's really nice to be able to share this sort of stuff with you guys. I was showing off the bag and some of those outfit little styling portions, and I think that that might be my next video, so stay tuned for that, you guys. I'm excited to record that one, but uh, yeah, I think I'm all done. Uh, so thank you guys again for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want to uh, see more of these videos as they're coming out. I'm going to try and crank them out uh, more, more and more and more. So yeah, enjoy. Stay safe out there, everybody. And thank you very much for watching once again. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Peace. And stay whatever.